sometimes your cellular data will stop working on your iPhone or iPad. Assuming you are not just in poor coverage area, there are a few general tips you can take that will fix many cellular data not working bugs on your iPhone. The obvious stuff. If you contact the Genius Bar or your cell carrier regarding your troubles, the first thing you'll hear is, have you tried turning it off and on again? Thanks for that, buddy. Restarting is Troubleshooting 101 because it works so well, so make sure you give it a shot first. Isolating the problem. If you're taking matters into your own hands, and why would you do a how-to without, it's important to establish that your data connection is definitely the source of your issues. Note that all of these steps generally apply to all recent iOS and iPad OS updates. Look at the top left corner of your screen. If you don't see the familiar 4G LTE or 5G icons appearing where they should, then your mobile data isn't working, which could be related to your location or an internal problem on your device. Sometimes the 4G or 5G loco can appear, but your data still won't work. If this happens, go to the next steps. If it's only a specific app like Safari or WhatsApp not connected to the internet, you could try reinstalling the app. With Safari, we actually have a list of your fixes for Safari not working, which could help you. Link in the description. Your data connection won't have an effect on individual apps, but your device as a whole. So this list may not be that much help to you. Make sure there's no carrier outage in your area. While infrequent, and very, very infrequent, they can occur, especially during times of bad weather, which we've had rather a lot of lately. Check your carrier's social media pages or the down detector page link in the description, to learn whether there are any outages in your area. Turn off Wi-Fi calling. Wi-Fi calling is a great feature, automatically switching to a regular phone call to a Wi-Fi network if you can get a better signal that way. That said, in some cases, Wi-Fi calling can interfere with cellular connection. As a quick fix, try switching off Wi-Fi calling if you're on a cellular connection already. You can do this in one of two ways. Go to Settings, Phone, Wi-Fi calling, then tap the slider for Wi-Fi calling so that it's grey. Go to Settings Cellular Wi-Fi calling and tap on the toggle so that it's in the off position. Using either of these methods, see if disabling Wi-Fi calling is the solution to any of your cellular troubles. If it doesn't help, turn Wi-Fi calling back on and move through to the next step on this list. Reinsert SIM card. One of the first things you should try is removing and reinserting your SIM card. While it's unlikely the card got dirty or dusty while in your phone, it's pretty well sealed, reinserting forces your phone to reread the card and can jolt your cellular data back into life. Toggle airplane mode. If for some reason your iPhone or iPad has gotten confused, toggling cellular data on and off can reset the connection and solve the problem. You can quickly do this in one of two ways depending on which iPhone model you have. For users of the iPhone SE, iPhone 8 or earlier and iPod Touch, follow these directions. Start by swiping up from the bottom edge of the screen to bring up the control center. Press the airplane mode icon and wait a few seconds for the iPhone radios to turn off. Tap the airplane icon again to disable airplane mode and wait for your device to reconnect to cellular data. Check for iOS updates. Many cellular issues can also be resolved via a software update. Apple works closely with its carrier partners to identify network connection issues and you often see these fixes appearing in new iOS software update notes. Open the settings app, scroll down and tap the general menu option. Under general, tap software update. If an update is available, install the update. Your phone will restart during this process once the device restarts if you see if your network's connection issue is resolved. If not, keep working through the rest of the steps. Turn off VPN. If you're using or are subscribed to a VPN on your phone, in some rare cases, it can also block your cellular signal from connecting. Having a VPN can be used for things like staying safe on public Wi-Fi or bypassing geographical viewing restrictions. Should you find that you are having trouble connecting to your cellular signal, disable your VPN temporarily and see if this helps resolve the connection issue. It might also help to disable the VPN by going into the VPN settings and toggling your app of choice to off, then doing a forced restart. With the forced restart, you can be sure you are completely disconnected. Now see if the cellular signal returns, and if not, continue to the next step. Factory reset. For the most stubborn problems, sometimes you need to start from the very beginning. In this case, which is admittedly the most dramatic and should be your last resort, you can restore your device to factory settings. Before undertaking any such action, you'll want to make sure your iPhone is backed up. Begin your factory reset by going to your settings app and tapping on general. In the general menu screen, right scroll down until you find the transfer or reset iPhone option and tap on that as well. 
In the reset menu, make sure that you're on a screen that says erase this iPhone. To confirm the reset, press continue and wait for your iPhone to restart. Ask Apple for help. The absolute final step, should none of the above work, is to reach out to Apple. Whether it's a phone call or a Genius Bar appointment in store, explaining your issue to Apple may be your last resort. The issue with your cellular data may be a hardware issue and not software. Apple can help replace your device if it's still under warranty or provide you with some options for upgrading. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support and I will see you next time.